Hello. Well, yeah, it's everyone. Where's everyone? Ajoke is online. Where are you guys? Where's everyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Please come join Ajoke this evening. Let us discuss. Hi. Hello, everybody. Good evening, everybody. How is weekend going? Good evening. Ajoke is out today. Please share the program as you come in. Please share for me. Hi, 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 hi. As you come in, please share for me. Please, 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 please. This is about our schools in Nigeria. I saw a video and I really want to share it with everybody. And let's talk about it. How are you all? Are you okay? You guys enjoying your weekend? How has the week been? I know I've been very, very naughty these days. You know, normally I come out at four and I said I was going to, you know, stick to that time. But family commitment will not allow me. My sweet auntie Dele Shewa, okay, my admin, how are you? Happy weekend, Iyola Biodu. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. As you come in, please share for me. Um, Like I said, I thought I would be making that four o'clock on Saturdays. Unfortunately, I took the kids out to went for shopping. I just came back. So it's just family commitments. Please bear with me. And for those coming to my inbox and saying, Najoka, you're not coming out. What's the problem? I don't have any problem. It's just that, you know, busy, busy, busy. So if we don't have anything to discuss, why coming out? So sometimes if I don't really have that hope to come out, I won't come out. Anyways, thank you for coming. Thank you for, you know, being with me this evening. You are on prevailing issues with Ajoke. And we have two things to discuss today. Two important things to discuss today. The first one we'll be discussing, it's about the deplorable condition that our students, our pupils, are go, are, you know, are studying under in Nigeria. The schools, oh my God. Um, Fatima Omobola, Omo Bojola Ajoke, happy weekend, how are you? I saw this trending video and I feel I should share it with yours, with us and then we'll talk about it. When we talk about Nigeria, of course, we, it's like we are just talking anyway, nothing seems to be happening. But at least when we see things like this, we still need to call the attention of the government to it and parastatas, education parastatas, to it, to look into it. I saw this video. Please share it for me. And the second topic we'll be talking about is about a lady that shared her experience of bringing in um, a friend to help. She helped a friend and brought her to their family home. So I'll be sharing that experience with us. But the first one, it's about the education in Nigeria. It's unfortunate that in 21st century, our schools in Nigeria, you know, are still going through this. I saw it, I felt really bad. I didn't really want to come out again because, of course, it's 6 o'clock and I feel like, anyway, I can't do this week again. But when I saw this, you know, I, I almost shed tears because even when my, my own daughter saw it, she was, she was just shaking. This cannot be school. So... Let's, I've said I'm not going to be, you know, showing video because of monetization. But forget about monetization now. Yeah, I know. I need money. But when it comes to things that I can share, if there's no way, I don't know how else to share this. Let's watch this together. Children, I guess they are primary school students. If you can see where they're standing, look at pool of water there. And they are on the assembly, pool of water. It's like they are in the stream, you know, standing on the stream. Look at that. Pool of water. What kind of condition? Yeah.
the heroes, whatever the heroes did, are in vain in Nigeria. These are students that are supposed to go into that school and learn something. Tell me how can a child learn anything in this condition? What kind of knowledge are you going to impact in those children and you think it's going to stick on them? Look at them. Let's start. Watch it. to help Nigeria to grow but look at the condition where the students are are going to be learning you go to school in the morning as a student and look at them you can see shoes flowing in that flowing water number one their health is affected in this no matter what you don't even know what is in that water anything could be there that's a flood and they are standing on the flood to do a rise of compatriots. Tell me, a student that has gone into school this morning, must they do assembly in this condition? I don't know. Lai Muhammad will not see this. No, Lai Muhammad doesn't see this. All he can see is comparing bandits to Agberos in Lagos. I saw that and I was shaking. Lai Muhammad was comparing bandits to Agberos in Lagos. We are now, so Nigeria is about comparison of the good, the bad, and the ugly now, which is, anyway, we can all say, yeah, this was justifying things that shouldn't be justified in the first place. Lai Muhammad was comparing, I read it live on his Twitter. He said, uh, uh, bandits are just like Agberos in Lagos taking uh, money for uh, uh, so it's still the same thing as far as he's concerned look at our students tell me how these children will learn in this condition and you want that in knowledge to be impacted in them in any way how can this is horrible the, in fact I can't even imagine it even there, okay, he's talking about Namdikano's clothes. Imagine. Okay, look at their uniform. Some of them are wet already. Look at shoes swimming in that. <laughs> God. Health wise, unfair. Mentally, unfair on these children. And then for the teachers or the school itself, they had to put them under this condition. To do uh, assembly. It's so shameful. Shameful on the school. Shameful on the governments that we, are, we have. All their own children are not in these schools. So they don't feel our pain. Look at it again. They don't feel our pain. Look at it. They don't feel our pain. Look at it. They want to serve their fatherland. How can they serve in this condition? Can you imagine? Look at. It's gone.
all in vain already. Oh, okay. Somebody said, somebody said, the teachers, they are using this video to do crying wolf. When people watch this, they will rescue their mouths. Those teachers are out of are out of order to do their crying wolf like this. This was a tactics game to the whole nation. But maybe to let the whole nation know how bad it is. It's disgusting, but we have to show it. Let's show the government that this is a country that has failed this generation. They have failed the unborn generation. Look at it. Look at this is a school. This is a school. Look, look at your school in Nigeria. Look at. Look at. Justice cannot reign in that country again. It's sad. Look at how wet they, they are. Look at how wet they are and they are going into the class. Look at how wet they are. Look at the, the state of everything there. Apart from being wet, they are standing in that water. A lot of things, they can get infected in, any, in many ways on their feet. And then they are going into the class wet. And I'm very sure this kind of a school, of course, they don't even have seats. We have seen what's worse that these children will sit on the floor to write. What is our Nigerian government doing about this? Education that is supposed to be from elementary, that's supposed to be something that we should be proud of, something that should be basic. We are not getting it. It's so unfair. Basic thing for these children, they are not... They are trying to make these children should not have been put through that. Yeah. It's unfair. Let's forget about the school now. Let's talk about our government that has failed us. That has failed our generation. That has failed on, unborn children. That has failed these children severely. Eh? And they said the way government is about to borrow 200 million to buy mosquito nets. Misplaced priority. Misplaced priority. It's so unfair. It's unfair on those children. Their parents, they won't get salary gone. Some of them, most of these people, the rich one will not send their children to this school, mind you. It's the gates man that sends his child to this school. It's the more seller that sends a child to this school. These are people that are poor. Because, of, of course, most of these big people do not send their children to such schools. There are lots of private schools that they can send their children to. But the one that you have said it's free education is where these children can go. And these schools are neglected. No chairs to sit. No food for them. Nothing works in their schools. Their teachers gone out, they are not paid. So most of these children, uh, teachers will bring things to sell in the classroom. And you expect the student to go into that class and be concentrate, uh, and concentrate on whatever they are being taught. It's not possible. There's no concentration in any way. They are, they, their future looks so bleak. There seems to be nothing for them. And you want them to now... Auntie, Auntie Fatima Johnson, love you, sis. Welcome. And these are children... That you are calling the leaders of tomorrow. These are children that you are calling leaders of tomorrow. These are leaders of tomorrow that you have neglected them. Right from, look at their primary school. They have started this kind of life. And you think they will come out of that secondary school, primary school and everything. And they don't become thieves. These are the people that comes out becoming hoodlums. They've not had the opportunity your children are having. None of your children's school in Nigeria. No. We've seen Buhari coming here to do graduation for his children. 
all of them. So they, they don't really care about those children. But we will be calling on them and be telling the whole world, UNICEF is seeing this. Let them see what our children, the poor people, what our children are going through in Nigeria. If there's going to be help coming from somewhere. I don't know the school. I wish I know the school. But they really need help. If the school is like this, outside is like this, you can imagine how the classrooms are. You have killed, you have, you are gradually killing the uh, educator, uh, educational system in Nigeria. You are gradually killing it. What is free there? Hello? Hello? Hello, ma. Hello, sir. Mama, I can't let you program Oh, sorry, I know. Okay, ma. Okay, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. So, God help our children. No matter what, we are calling on, if, I don't know if it is in Lagos or anywhere. I don't know where this is. But of course, we can hear our national anthem. So you cannot say this is not Nigeria. This is Nigeria. Life and direct. But please, government, we are begging you, Neil. We have no choice. Because you do not even feel the pains of these people. You don't even have any relative in this school. But it's by us bringing it out to the world that the world will see that Nigeria really needs help. Forget about you want to me or whatever. Like I do say. They have started their campaigning. That is what we don't know. These people do not care. They have started their campaigning. The APC, they are doing their own. The PDP are doing their own today. Election going on. Ah, Nigeria are healthy. And you will see this kind of life that people are living. And you will see people still campaigning for the government to continue. Bwari was saying something that um, people are asking him to do another four years. Are you people... Uh, are, we, are we stupid in Nigeria? Is something wrong with us? That man needs to go and rest. Apart from that, he spends, he's going to spend eight years what has he brought? What changes has he brought? And that you are asking him to continue for continuity's sake. Is he just saying that to start something or people are actually asking him to stay? It's like something is wrong somewhere. Nothing is working. We hear a lot of things going on in Nigeria daily. Like I say, I don't want to be just be clamoring, clamoring on things that we, doesn't seem to change. The changes are not coming. But when we see things like this, we'll share it to the world. Let them know how they have failed us as a nation. How they have failed us as a nation. Yeah, we were quizzing about um, the SNEs, bra, going on sales, those things that they, they seized. Can you imagine the amount of things seized from this woman? Just one person. Just one person. That served the government. The Azini. Ah, God is looking, no. Hey, hey. Oju Oluwangi. Oju Oluwangi Bubuwa. Just because you served that country, you milked them up. They said they cost the bra and all that. Anyway, I don't want to talk about the bra again because it's just it's just crazy. Those are the things seized from her. But look at the school, your, our children, the ones that have no opportunity like yourself or myself. Look at the schools they are going. And then, father of one of these might be one of those kidnappers. What else do you expect him to do? Because he has to care for those children. He cannot afford what you can afford. Uh, can you imagine asking Bwari to stay for another one year? Hey, God Almighty, save Nigeria. Oh, let me drink something on them.
Nigeria. Ah, the giant of Africa indeed. And we have government, local, state, and federal in Nigeria. Can we be proud to be a Nigerian? Hmm. With such inhumane treatment to the future leaders, who did Nigeria or Nigerians offend? Who caused Nigeria? It is true. Mr. Peter, help me ask them. Giant of Africa indeed. Giant of nowhere. Giant of nowhere. You cannot afford to send your... Because even the private schools, how many of these people that have... How much do they even earn? 25, 30,000 naira. How can they send their children to private school? So this school that these people can send their children to, these are schools that are being neglected by the government. Oh, we are just calling on them. Like, I will always call on them. To please look into this. I don't know where the school is. But wherever the school is, it's a shame on Nigerian government. It's a shame on the, uh, the local government where the school is. It's a shame on the state where the school is, wherever the school is. It has just shown that you've not done nothing. It's shown the thing that you have, all, the, all you are there for, you are not doing anything in any way, in any way. All we are doing there in Nigeria is to enrich our pockets. So sad. Think about the future of these children. Think about their future. These are children that will turn out to be something in life. But if they've started this, that's why you can see some of them are so cruel now. You, the Nigerian children, sorry to say. Because they've been trained in a very hard way. They've been trained, trained in hardship. They've been trained in hardship. Honestly, it's sad. Very pathetic. Nigerian government, please. Please and please, we are begging you. We don't know where the school is, but we are just, you know, trying to let everybody know about it. We'll bring you out to the world and let the world see how it is in Nigeria. Nothing is working. Like Mohammed is going gallivanting and telling everybody Nigeria is... I don't, I don't even understand that man. I don't understand that man. But he's doing his job anyway. Information only. So they want us to, it's what they want us to, to hear. That's what they will tell us. Big shame to Nigeria. Big shame to Nigeria. Wherever the school is, even the school itself, like somebody said that maybe they came out so that people can help them. Yeah, of course they need help. They actually need help. If we can help, let us help. They need help. I don't know the school. But they actually need help. Maybe by them doing this, they will let the whole world see it. And then they will call on their local governments to see to their problems. So if they don't do it, maybe they won't, they won't do anything about it. That's why somebody must have, you know, recorded this and put it out for the world to see. But unfortunately, we don't know where the school is. But for the Nigerian government, because it is, oh, we can hear our national anthem, it is Nigeria anyway. So on that note... I've, I've just said it. We are begging on Nigerian government to look into the schools and, you know, do the right things for them. They are not asking for too much, just basic things to make them go to that school and get the knowledge that is, you know, that's expected of them. Please, 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 Nigerian government, do not neglect our schools. You are neglecting a lot of things. Nothing is working anyway. But let's start from some way. Education health is very important. Education health is important. But those sectors are being neglected badly. Anyway, on that note, that's, that's because I don't want to stay too long. Thank you, and I hope something is done. And for those students, all I can wish them is best in life. Whatever they are going, they are going through it. It's just it's, it's a face in their lives, you know. And I know God will see to them and bring them out of that whatever they call that country. I don't want to use that word here anyways. So on that note, I say all the best for, the, for Nigeria and Nigerian students. Secondly, a lady shared a story with me and I think it's for us to learn something, you understand, uh, for program. Call the other number, whoever is calling. I guess it's Babalao, it's uh, whatever. So what we are using to do program, you are disrupting the program. The second one we'll be talking about 
is about a lady that shared a story with me. When we are helping people, we just have to be careful of who we bring into our homes. A lady shared this with me and said, okay, Ola, can you share it to the whole world and let's, let them know that Nigerians can be terrible. Of course, they are good people. But sometimes when you meet terrible ones, you want to share your experience with the whole world. This lady met an old friend in London, London here. She said they were um, childhood friends. So they lost contacts. Of course, this lady got married. The lady that's sharing her, her experience with me, Jenna Kimboye, thank you. It's the number we are using. Somebody, you are calling the number. I'm, I'm declining it. Know that I don't want to pick that phone because I'm using it to do the program. Call the second number if you need to talk to me. Anyway, um, this lady that shared her, her experience with me said, She's been in the UK since she was uh, 25. And she got married in UK, got good children, uh, got children. I will still talk about children here because she's got issues with her children. Anyway, she got married, got her own man, got married and lived happily ever with her family. So she said she was just going one day and she met this friend in Peckham. This is a friend that they grew up together. So she said, when they met, um, this is her friend. Uh, let me use uh, Miss N for the friend. She met, she met Miss N in Peckham. And uh, Miss N told her that, you know, she was having housing issues. That she came to the UK two years, no paper, nothing. You know the way it is. So she's been living from one person to another and she's not happy and all that. The friend said, this is a childhood friend. So she said, okay, let me speak to my husband. We have a spare room. They, they, do have, they have three bedroom. She and her husband use one. Um, their son use one. And then the two daughters, one uh, is in the university Two of them are in the university, so most of the time they don't stay at home. So the spare room is when the girls come in, they stay. So she said, this, um, her first son has um, addiction, drug addiction. So she's been battling that, praying to God to, you know, to get them out of this mess. So... She said she wasn't even thinking about her son when she spoke with her husband. But you know when you, you've got a friend and you feel, oh, this is my friend. Ah, me, I cannot be enjoying that my friend is in the UK here. She doesn't have papers. And she's been sleeping around nowhere to sleep. So she said, okay. Her husband said, well, if she can manage with us, you know the way we are in this family. We are not so buoyant. So, but if she can come in and, you know, anything you want, my dear wife. So the, the wife uh, told her friend, okay, Miss N, move in until you get somewhere to live. Because she said she, uh, that their friend was using somebody's way. So she, the friend goes to work too. And she walks, her husband walks. So. And she said the lady moved in initially. You know, things were rosy. They were managing, you know, and they took her as a family as a family member, because she's somebody you grew up with, you understand. Um, I've got people that I grew up with. When I see them in this place, it's like, oh my God, I'm seeing my family. So even though we are friends. So she said, um, this lady started living with them. It's just an experience that we have to learn from who we bring into our family. This lady said when she brought Miss N home, some of their friends in Nigeria called her and said, ah, have you forgotten this person? Ah, hey, your husband, though, I'm just sorry for you. Hey. But she, she, she knows her husband. This man is not somebody like that. So she said, no, she's not going to think about that now. But how to solve that lady's problem, which is the immediate problem is housing. So she said, okay. She wasn't, you know, listening to what people were saying about her friend. She brought her friend in and they were living happily. She said, go to a point, she just noticed that anything that happens in the house, she hears it outside. 
people, they, of course, she's introduced her to some of their friends, their church members and all that. So she said she was just wondering how things were, you know, leaking out like that. And she once asked her, you know, Miss Ayn, there's something I've noticed though. After about three months, she's been staying with them. But there's something I've noticed too. You know, we, of course, husband and wife do have issues at home. She was like, how come things like this, people, you know, hear it out there? And her friend was surprised and was like, ah, how can they hear it? I don't know, you know. And she said she wasn't even thinking about that. Let me drink um, my water. Hope you are following the story, you. So she said she was not thinking about, you know, her friend being the one telling the whole world what happens in my home. Ah! The lady said she was shocked when she went to a friend's house and the friend brought out a phone and played the whole thing that goes, out, goes on in their home. She said, you've brought in a stranger into the home. This stranger that you have brought home has destroyed you totally out here. She was shocked that they know now that her son, her first son, is the problem of the family. They now find out about how the son was using drug and uh, the problems they face in the house. Apparently, what this Miss N does is anytime husband and wife are having issues, like we do all have issues, no home is perfect. We all have one thing or the other that, you know, we are all battling with. No home is perfect. No relationship is perfect. So anytime the man and his wife are having issues, Miss N will press record and put it aside, uh, you know, and be, eh, 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 my jam, oh, eh, pari, eh, on kwe ma binu, eh, wano, wala, eh, sik po ju, eh, this, this, who kwe ma binu, on ku, she will be showing so much concern about their family. Not knowing that she was recording everything that was going on in that family. Her intentions are not known, for real, because I still, Asked her, what do you think her intentions were? She was shocked herself. This person recorded husband and wife having quarrels and going to a third party to show them that, uh, do you think their marriage is sweet? Because you see them outside doing uh, me and my husband. Oh, uh, me and my husband, oh, she will. let me play something for you. They fight all the time. In fact, that man is so useless. He sometimes he won't leave money for the wife. It's the wife that we cook. It's the wife that... Did. She said she felt... She, she was totally confused. She couldn't believe it. Because, of course, what people were talking about that, Miss N, is the fact that, you know, she's not somebody you can bring to your home. Very promiscuous. But she never thought she could do that again. Recording what is going on in a family that has helped you when you're homeless. She recorded them. Not that alone. She told the whole world that could hear it that their first son is on drugs. She told friends about the drug addiction of that boy. And how the boy sometimes beat the mom. Of course, issues with children. You know how it is raising children up in abroad. Even in Nigeria, it's only God that can raise children for you. Nobody is perfect. It's not because you are a Christian, you are a, ma you are a mom, or because you are a single mother, or because that you can train a child. It's only God that can train a child for you. We all strive to do it well. It's only God. And no matter what, everybody's got their own problems. This friend we are talking about has two children in Nigeria. Two different men, Lobi Mofu. Know that our life is perfect. But because of the fact that somebody has helped you and brought you to our own family, 
You are able to disclose all our secrets to the world. You are able to tell the whole world the pace she's going through as a mother. Because when that woman was talking to me, she was weeping. The pain she was going through as a mother. Because, of course, one year or baba, Nitsibaba, Etioda, Yaloni. You can imagine how many are fast that woman has visited. And she confided in you as a friend. May God see us through and deliver us from wicked friends that pretend to be friends, enemies that pretend to be friends. I feel bad for her because as a mother, I know what it is. Sincerely, I know what it is. She said the whole world now knows her son has addiction. And you call that a friend. She only helps you. She, she, she sent her packing. She has sent her packing. She's just sharing her, her story with us. She sent her packing. And her husband had to call her now. Look, because she couldn't hide it from the husband. Because all their secrets, plan everything, how much they earn, how much they are owing, all the credit cards daddy is owing, all the bills they are owing. This lady told everything out. She disclosed everything that's happening in that family. How sometimes their toilet, eh? Sometimes gone. I don't even win. I need to do like this to win their toilet. Ah, very dirty woman. Eh? And you will see her, she will move her in party. You will see her, you. I mean, what kind of a friend are you? Search your heart as a friend. What kind of a friend are you? Of course, we've got some friends that are just too amazing. Mm. You've got some friends that you can call friends. But when it comes to a friend that has destroyed you so much like this, you start wondering. She said she confronted her. She was crying. She said I confronted her. I was crying, confronting her. I said, what did I do to you, Miss N? Why there's so much hatred? What I've all do, oh, oh, what I've done is just to help you out. I met you in Peckham. No house to live. Your job that you are doing is not that it's the perfect job. Because only way. And I felt I could help you. So this is the only way you can pay me back. She was shocked. She, she said she couldn't, the lady couldn't say anything. She was just saying, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. She said she threw her things out that day. She threw everything out. Because if, if people were telling her about, ah, okay, it's okay. you know when people like, ah, your friend is talking about you, it's a different thing. But playing a recorded voice of what happens in the home. So, mind who you bring home. Some people are just terrible. There is nothing you can do to them that can satisfy them. Nothing. She complains to other people that sometimes she will not eat. They will give her one small bit. They will, somebody that is helping you. Emma, me, Otori, alone. She will tell, she told them everything in that home. Remember when you and your husband, your immediate family are living together. You can manage yourselves. No. If you have no food, nobody knows. If you and Oga are fighting, nobody knows. If you call Oga Wiri, nobody knows. Nobody cares about that because you're together. Nobody sees you. But by the time you bring in a third party, somebody you do not know very well, they will finish you up. You don't know who is who. Just so for us to be mindful of who we bring home. All because we want to help somebody. Of course, a lot of Nigerians are here without papers. So how do you want to help now? When the, the one you have helped. You can imagine when that lady sees another Nigerian or a, another friend. Do you think she's going to help? 
And then the next thing you say, ah, Nigerians are wicked. You can't imagine I met my friend. Let me drink something on their life. I met my friend. She cannot help me. Just one friend that this one has helped. As brother, if that man is not a good man, it can destroy their relationship. Do you know that? Because she is the one that brought this woman home. She's the one that brought this woman home. Now this same woman that you have brought home has destroyed our home. Our son is going through a phase in life. Most of these children abroad, most of them will go through it. It's only God that can help us. We all pray as parents. We pray as mothers. Your children that have been good, it's not by your power, it's not by your might, it's just God. So if somebody's child, son or daughter is having issues, why must you mock them out there? Do not mock anybody. No, do not mock them. And one sister is so new. They will call you friend. They will call you sister Adubo. But they are destroying you. They come to your home. Some of them, what they have come to is to see how you live at home. Is to see how you live at home. Some will come to your home to talk about your toilet out there. Ah, I went to Omi's house to buy the toilet. Hi, my adult you. They have come to your home to see the relationship between your husband and yourself. Ah, what if that is why that friend has come to you. Nothing else. To know what goes around in your home. Be mindful of who you bring home. A friend you have lost contact with for a long time. Oh man, son, you ba. You wa ni wa mi mo. We ento ti pa de for a long time. You wa ni wa luma wa. Be mi mo ma bino. You can't tell what character that person has. Because of course. Life has changed, everything and to more it changed for a long time. You don't know who is who. How can I bring you home to help you? Are you destroying my home? You tell my story to the whole world. Because even forget about the husband's. Part, uh, of course, of course, ya woman ja. Of course, ya woman ja. But when it comes to your children, that people now take advantage of the fact that we've brought them home to talk about your children out there, then that's the issue. Very pathetic. Very, very sad. I felt for that woman. And she swore to God that after this, she will never, never. Help any Nigerian. See how people just destroy. Um, oh, he has called me. I don't know. Emma Binu. Emma Binu. Oh, so he's been calling me. Oh, sorry. He's been calling to speak on the program. I think he was calling the wrong number and I didn't know he was calling here. Hmm. It's so sad. Because I don't want to do calling, really. Hmm. Beware. Do not follow the majority. Hmm. Along do duty. Wow. Habi odun karatu. It's sad, though. If a friend, if somebody you call a friend, ah, yet to live. Anyways. So, one thing I want us to take home today, like I said, I don't want to stay too long and unfortunately, I will have to leave very soon. But the fact still remains that whoever you want to help, somebody you do not know, be careful. Somebody you know, be careful. That does not mean we should not help. Of course we do help. 
But when that helps become something that will endanger your life or the lives of those around you, that is where you have to be very careful. Honestly. For all your skin care products, please visit Fumi Beauty World. For all your skin care products, please, please, please visit Fumi Beauty World. Ah, Ejo. Seba fe kiaraima don kuma jolo. Fumi Beauty World is the answer. Ah, ke wo kini ye o ye 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 Fumi Beauty World. Ah, wa pa ni. For all your skincare products, you want to look, you're, you're dark and you just want a glowing skin. You don't want to bleach. You don't have to bleach. You see, when they talk about um, skincare products, people always associate it with only bleaching. No. It depends on what you want. Some people really want to change their skin tones, but some really want to keep their skin tone. I am dark, and I have never thought of changing my color. It depends on what you use. And that is why I'm recommending Fumi Beauty World to you. Honestly, when it comes to um, using something that's, um, what do you call that, 100% organic, you are not bleaching. Mm -mm, you will never bleach. I, I bleach Bawo. Please visit Fumi Beauty World. Ejekagbo. Mm? Lati enu mu. Mm -mm, kilo shele now. Aye mani kao. Ah ah. Kilo de. Mi magbo ke. Kilo shele. Fumi Beauty World is the answer to all your skincare products. I don't know why this. Okay, this thing. I think it disconnected though. Egba miu. Egba miu. Ah. No. It's not talking. Kini moshe. Yeah, kini moshe. Si won check it. Kini speak our song. Oh, ah, ah. For real. I don't know why it's not Bluetooth talking. Disconnected. Okay, let's see if it disconnects the Bluetooth. If it's going to. So, Fumi Beauty World for all your skincare products you want to maintain your skin you want to go lighter because some people just want to change it's not because of uh, self-esteem like they do say no sometimes you just want to look different so uh, but if you want to maintain your skin to so everything they do they do mulatto they do i mean it might be no ask ah, from beauty world will kill me kill you shelly hmm? Because of Fumi Beauty World. Uh, because uh, I really want to share, you know, skincare experience. Okay, that's, um, you know, do not, you don't have to bleach to look good. If you want to maintain your color, go to Fumi Beauty World. 100%, I swear to God, 100%. Taiwo, oh, yeah, me too bad. There are many friends that are wolves in reality. Wolves, wolves in human skin. I'm wearing a coat. To Lore, I can't go to my friend's house and be looking for their phone. Fumi Beauty World is the key to all your skincare products. Go to www.fumibeautyworld.com. One shape, uh, one shape uh, promotion, the wall over. So I will advise to take advantage of that promotion. It's half price, I think. Oh, ah, my get me, she saw. I shall not so do For me, Beauty World, WhatsApp one here. Yeah. I mean, um, www.fumibeautyworld.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be posting For Me Beauty World's products this evening again, and then we'll talk about them. But believe me, when you're looking for something good for your skin, go to Fumi Beauty World. You will not regret. I, oh, me, I don't like to use I swear, but believe me. Ah, Ejo. Teba fe don la wo biti. Ejo ke ko Fumi Beauty World. And don't forget. Ah, do not let me forget. Happy birthday to Olowe Ko. Olowe Ko Baba Fuad. Of course. Tobani most unpopular... Uh, Oba of Lagos. 
is Uluweku, unfortunately, but the fact still remains that I am Omo Eko Pataki. Mi de ni bagbe le baba mi. I'm greeting Baba, Baba Mio, um, Akiolu, Epe, Ebo, uh, Iukere, Adi, Okini is 78. I think it was 78 yesterday. Happy birthday, Dad. Happy birthday. Is there anything that I would not to play? Happy birthday, sir. Wishing you all the best in life. Eh, Bobo, Ojo Toku, Temalu, La Ye, Eh, Ni Lu, Ni Nui, Ni Ra, Baba Wa, Akiolu, Ke wa wo, Igba Toku, You know, Ke Fiba Wa, Sun, Eko, She, Hmm, Eg Mag Bagbe, Ko Si Gba, Te Yon Bere, Ti O Liri, She, Tolong Ba Fun, Yin, She, Eh, Bobo, Ita, Wun Yon, Ta Kwe, She, Ti O Da, Eba Wa, Sun, She, Ki, Olo Joto, De, Agba, La, Gba, Le, Da, Yi, Eh, Ni Da, Gba, O, She, Happy birthday, sir. Wishing Oba Akiolu. Ah, a lake of it. Oh, eh. Hey. Baba me. Eh, hey. you can call me a good Hey, I'm a good She won't baba me. Akiolu, we love you. All we want from you is Keba Watson, a kushi. But we want politicians to see a sumo. A lupa wine. Ke kumba wa fi, kumba wa fi te kushi, she ti bo e jo. Ah, 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 le bu yin, ah, lò wani je ka bu papa wa. Shou ye yin sa. So, a kon fe ke she, nkoto dani. E ko ni ba je o. Fumi Beauty World, lò le she, e ge ba mi ko, e ba mi konon ba Fumi Beauty World. Si bi mo, mo fun bu. So, she I understand. Ah, eh, lò wani ba e ko je, fun yin, ni ba yin, te wa si, te je o ba e ko. Eh, iko ni baje, iko ni baje o, iko ni baje, because a lot of people are saying that you know, um, diba oba oye kon iko drum, iwo iko ya no la de fe, unko ta fe ni iko che kubo ya mo yon e tini sa, shuba mo konfe pe ketsum iko she ni dubu ono te balé fi ba wa te iko she, olon a funi she o baba wa eh akiolu happy birthday sa eh she opolo po drum la ye o eh iba o drum abi o drum Iba oduni. Oh yeah, eje ka agbo die. For my eko. Eko akete. Happy birthday to lo we eko. Oba ki olu. Awa la la ba. Awa ye, awa la ba. Eko ile o. Awa la la ba. Awala raba, awaye, awala raba. Arobisa lebe, awala raba. Awaye, awala raba. Arobisa lebe, awala raba. Awaye, awala raba. Ajo tede, omo eko pasaki. Ajo tede o, omo eko pasaki. Si onjo mwale. Oh my, she look Oh my, this one is a leko. Ileva bawa, ileva bawa. Eh, kafu. Move your gun. Kill 
Thank you very much. And I remember my brother, um, uh, Kilon Jeno, uh, Babalawo of uh, America. Ah, Vini Omo, Ya Jesu. Happy birthday in a race. And on the birthday, mo. Uh, happy birthday, wishing you all the best. The buffet jar woke to make sense. A pevinio mo ya jesu. I want ye. Ah, I won't confirm. Babe, I will reject the UK, but I want America. God bless you all for watching. Please, if you've got any story you want to share with us, give Adjoke a call. She will listen to your story and we'll bring it to the world. You know, we just we just do things that 
that we think it's right. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Please, when you meet this, only me worry. Can you do go new and say I okay? Ah, I'm a, I'm a she look. I okay. I want this. This is a leko. No, I'm not going to make you. Am I in the times you are funny? But I'm sure no. Because I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I want to only walk on my own. Anyway. We are make o mo iko pataki to dem se to nse nkan gada mm do ko si gbogbo me ko le ma ri te ma ni awon area boys awon kini ko that is not what we are that is not who we are you understand we are educated people o mo iko ah to ba ri awon mo o mo iko kan mo pade won ah ogami ah you fat inu mi kun dun ni ti ba ti ra won mi ko ba inu mi a kun ma dun ara mi a ma ya gaga i love legoshens if you meet good legoshens no there's no even bad one among us babe mm -mm. we don't we don't keep malice we don't once we we are somewhere we want that place to bubble that is omi ko for you so unfortunate that you know all those at home we was have come in and one day we pa won le gbe ku mo lo she won lo wa fun wa she we love Legosians are educated too now. Nah, ah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Only ni wan ki ni kan ni wan. No, that is not wo wo me koza. We, 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 ah, ah, ejo. Bo bi te ba ti gom meko. E jo, e ma respect wa. Ok? A kon yon da yon be. Mm mm. O meko da. Lon ku vo. Ko ba wa te ku shi. Bo ba wan to gbe ku mwa lewa. Mm. Mwa mwa wan. Ko la wan cha nou wa. Ko ba wak ba. E ko pa da lewa wan. La e kwe la e jino. E kwa re yon kwa da. Ah! Ah, wan la le e ko ni sou. Mm. E kwa re yon kwa da. On that note, I just can sign off and I say thank you so much for watching. Please, can you share this program anywhere you meet it? Help me to share it and then we can all learn from this no matter what. And we're calling on Lagos State, I mean, on Nigerian government. I don't know where that school that I showed before uh, is. Wherever that school is, the government, Nigerian government, should please go into that school and help them. They definitely need help and that's why they're bringing it out to the world to see. And then UNICEF can see where Nigeria is. That's Nigerian children, our leaders of tomorrow. Thank you so much. We love you. And then learn from having, bringing a friend home. Who do you bring to your home? Please be watchful. Along with what you, along with do it, wa, bubu wa, Nigeria, wa, mumu wa. Ah, ni fuji suku koko ni numu, bubu wa, wa, tun suku, lori yomu. One thing or the other, along monu wa, ade fu wa, afi o eh, wo wo tutu. See we are looking for Luri Omo. I dare you, Omo. We are in Shilaso. We all come about to, you know, to give these children better life. I pray that while we are here, we will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. Along our work with you, do not forget. I just love so everybody. Me only pass in your jail. That's the truth. I will always say it. So, we will not abandon you. Come on, take me along. Wow. Love you all. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye.